Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, linear equations, and for this particular subtopic, we'll be covering substitution, substitution method of solving for unknowns in a given set of exponential equations. So we want to see what substitution method is all about and how it can be used to solve for unknowns in a given set of simultaneous equations. And of course, at the, end, at the end of this lesson, we'll be giving you some assignments to help you with practicing and to help you check on your understanding of the concept as discussed during this lesson. So uh, for this particular lesson, we'll be looking at now use of substitution method to solve for, solve for unknowns in a given set of simultaneous equations when we have specifically integral coefficients, you know? where the coefficients, these numbers that are written before the letters, before the variables, whereby they are whole numbers. So for substitution method, we, we did elimination method and we were trying to eliminate one of them. It's more or less the same approach. Difference is now we have to do what's called substitution, replacing maybe a given term by, by something. So let's see how that can be done. So what we're going to do is, uh, I can use equation two to have, to find the value of x, you know? So I have two x is equals to 10 minus, then y. So I have the value of x as 10 minus 10y divided by 2. If you divide both sides by 2. So I will substitute x in the first equation. So this one is, is according to or going by the second equation. Or we say from equation 2, x is equals to 10 minus 10y over 2. So what is the value of, I mean, so in equation one, we'll have to substitute x for 10 minus 10y over two. So I have five y, I mean, five x plus six y is equals to 22. So where there is x, I will write 10 minus 10y over two. So I have five x, but now 10 minus 10y over two. This is what x is. This is what x is. x is 10 minus 10y over 2. Then followed by 6y is equals to 22. So you can see now, now x is not there. So you only have one equation in one unknown. So we try to open up that bracket. So we have 5 into 10 minus 10y. Everything is divided by 2 plus 6y is equals to 22. So what I'll do, I'll multiply all through by 2. So the first term by 2 will be, you know, 2 two will cancel the other 2. So we'll have 5 only. So we'll have 5 into 10 minus 10y plus the second term by 2 will be 12y. And the third, the, the 22 here multiplied by 2 will be 44. So this is 50 minus 50y plus 12y equals to 44, collecting the like terms together, you know, or I can take this 44 to this other side and this other one to the other side. So I have 50 minus 44, 44 will be negative when it comes to this other side, is equals to 50y minus 12y. So I took 50y to the other side, now it's minus 50, so it goes to positive, minus 12, plus 12 will go to minus 12 here. So this is 6, and this other one will be 38. See, So somebody would, would reason and say, why didn't I take 50 to the other side? I knew if I, if I, if I, I mean, why didn't I take this 50? If I took 50 to the other side, I'll be having minus 44 minus, that's, that's going to give me a negative. Working with negative values, sometimes it's not very easy. It's quite confusing. So I try to avoid. So instead of taking this to the other side, I can also take this to this other side. 44, go to this left-hand side of the equation and the variable second to the other side. So now I can interchange. So I can have now 38y 
is equals to 6. When you say 6 is equal to 38y, it also means the same thing as 38y is equal to 6. So divide both sides by 36, by 38, by 38. This is 38. So then y becomes 6 over 38, which is basically 3 over 19. We divide both of them by 2 if you simplify. So I do back substitution now. Substitute the value of y in either of the equations. Like let me use equation 2. 2x plus 10y is equals to 10. I substitute y for 3 over 19. So 2x plus 10 into 3 over 19 should be equal to 10. So if you simplify that, you'll end up with 2x plus 30 over 19 should be equal to Multiplying all through by 19 will give us 38x plus 30 is equal to 190, all through by 19. So 30 will move to the other side. So 38x should be equal to 190 minus 30. And so 38x is equal to 160. So you divide both sides by 38. 38 and you have x is equal to what? So this is 8 over 19. So 8 over 19, that should be uh, huh. So we have 8 over 19 being equal to 4 and 19 by 4 should be 76. So 76, we have what remains is 4 over 19. So x is 4 and 4 over 19, y is 3 over 19. So that is how you solve for the unknown. Using substitution method. Now you look at this, it's quite easier, easier. So from equation 1, from equation 1, x is equals to 7 minus y so i'll substitute x for 7 minus y so where there is x that's what simply means simply interpreted as where there is x you write 7 minus y so i have 3x but x is 7 minus y plus y is equals to 15 that is substituting in equation 2 so this is 21 minus 3y plus y is equals to 15. I'll do the same thing that I did in the previous example. It is 15 that will come to the other side. All these y's will go to the other side. So 21 minus 15 should be equal to 3y minus y. So 21 minus 15 is 6. And 3y minus y is 2y. So I will interchange. So 2y is equal to 6. Divide both sides by 2. And y is equal to 3. So back substitute. Equation 1 is simpler. So x plus y is equal to 7. But y is 3. So x plus 3. Y, I'm substituting y for 3. So that 3 can go to the other side. So x is equal to 7 minus 3, which is equal to 4. So again, we have. So. We have this again. So I'll make x again the subject. So start with x is equals to. So 7x 22 minus 15 y. So you divide both sides by 7. So x is equals to 22 minus. 15y all over 7. So now I'll substitute this in equation 2. So I have 8x but x is 22 minus 15y over 7. So plus 17y is equals to 25. So what you do here is to open up the bracket so that we have 8 into 22 minus 15y everything divided by 7 plus 17y should be equal to 25. 
So multiply all through by seven. So this will be eight into 22 uh, minus 15y. So 17 by seven, that is 119. And 25 by 7, that is 175. So you open up the bracket. So 8 by 22 is 176. And 8 by 15, 120y. So plus 119y equals to 175. So I will take 176 to the other side. So minus 120 plus 119 is negative. Y 175 minus 176. So this is going to be y is equals to negative y is equals to negative 1 and so y is equals to 1. So you substitute y for 1 in equation 1. So I have 7x plus 15y is equals to 22. So y is 1. So 7x plus 15 into y, but y is 1, should be equal to 22. So 7x, 15 by 1 is 15 is equals to 22. So 15 will go to the other side. So 7x is equals to 22 minus 15. So 7x is equals to what? 7. So dividing both sides by 7 x is equals to 1. So x is 1 and uh, y is 1. So we have the last one here. So not arranged. So you have to arrange them. So we have y from equation one, if you take y to the other side, it becomes positive. So y is equals to nine x plus seven. Substitute that in equation two. So we have thirteen x minus four into y, but y is nine x plus seven plus five. This is equals to zero. So I have thirteen x minus thirty six x. Whenever minus sign appears before bracket, the sign side bracket changes when the bracket is finally removed. So minus 28 plus 5 is equals to 0. So I'll take all the numbers to the other side. So I have 13x minus 36x is equals to 28 minus 5. So this is going to be 23. But minus... 23 x but minus so this is equals to negative uh, this equals to 23 as well so you divide both sides by negative 23 end up with x is equals to negative 1 you substitute in equation 1 so I have 9 x but x is negative 1 so 9 into negative 1 minus y plus 7 is equals to 0. So this is negative 9 minus y plus 7 is equals to 0. So I'll take the numbers to the other side. So I have minus y is equals to 7. No. 9 becomes positive when it goes to the other side. 7 becomes negative when it goes to the other side. So minus y is equals to 2, meaning that y is equals to negative 2 if you multiply both sides by negative 1. So x is negative 1, y is negative 2. So that is all for the lesson. You can attempt the assignment. Uh, possibly posting the feedback. In the comment section, you'll be able to look at it and give feedback in the due course. That is all for now. Till next time.